In this video, we're going to go through some of the basic operations and troubleshooting of the CH525 control. This control can be found on a lot of different models and machines, typically resaws, planers, sanders. I'm just going to take you through some of the basic uh, features of this control. Uh, first thing we want to establish is whether we're going to work in metric or inch. So by doing that, you can just select through the units and choose either metric or inch. We can also manually move the axes in the plus and minus direction, the plus or minus direction. Also, there's a green start button and a, and a red stop button. The green start button is just will trigger the dimension that you're trying to reach and the stop button will just stop the axes at any point. So first thing we'll do is we'll just key in a dimension that we want to we want to get to. We'll typically measure our material. So 1.58. So we can press set to enter that. 1.580. Again, uh, you can press start. And what it'll do, it'll actually go past that dimension and then it'll come back to your desired dimension to pick up the backlash. At this point, you're going to run a test piece. So you're going to run your material through and measure it again. If your measurement is off, you can, sort of, you can recalibrate the machine. So if we find out that our material is actually on the output side is an inch and a half, we can press set put in 1.500 inches. And what we want to do, this is the key part, is press set and hold it until it stops flashing. After going through the recalibration process, and if your dimension is still off, you can check the resolution number. In order to do that, you want to turn off the control power, press and hold the set button while turning back on the control power. This will display your resolution value. On every machine, from model to model, you have a unique resolution number. If this resolution number is not being displayed and it's just showing zeros, you either have a brand new unit that hasn't been programmed or it's been lost. If you have the resolution number, take the time to write it down and put it somewhere safe. Simply to change the resolution number, you key it in and press set. If you need to change it again, you go through the same process. Press and hold set. You turn back on the control power and key in the new resolution value. And press set to confirm. If you do not have a copy of your six digit resolution number or need any further support, do not hesitate to reach out to our service team.